us coming back to the door statue commandments, after having fellowship and not hatred to our brethren or sister, and then eventually we can get to the honey, the bread, the dresses and, and the head wraps. Eventually we can get to that. We're at it for our people, because our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge under these curses. Right. And we've got two sheep, we're trying to get free now. Sister with the nose ring, you know your nationality, you believe in the Bible, you know we're living in the last days, you know all hell's about to break loose. <clears throat> Our people walk around in gross darkness. So let me get the point. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 7, verse 3. No. I speak not this to condemn you. For I said, for I have said before that you are in our heart to die and live with you. Great is my boldness of speech towards you. Great is my glory, glory of you. I am filled with comfort. And I am exceedingly joyful in all our tribulations. And we are exceedingly joyful in all our tribulations. We are out here for our people, the That's Hebrew right. Israelites. We are out here for the Hebrew Israelites, the lost sheep of the house of Yasharala. Young sisters, you believe in the Bible, you know we live in the last days. 
You're Muslim. I mean, you know the Muslim, you know. In the Quran. I'm just about to say that, you know, because I don't know what that's happening. It's under the name, you understand? Really? Not real, bro. Good name. Not real, bro. That's it or not, yeah? So let me get the, um, let me get the... This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 15. Hate the Hebrew and love the good. Hate the what? Hate the Hebrew and love the good. We have to hate the evil, we have to love the good. That's right. Read. Establish judgment in the gate. And establish judgment in the gate. Righteous judgment. That's right. Read. It may be that the Lord, Jehovah, by Shimei, outside of hope, will be Lord gracious and unto the remnant of Joseph. And it may be that the, the Lord may be gracious unto the remnant of Jacob, who are the Israelites. Israel. It may be. The young prince. So let me get the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 6 and let me get Sirach chapter 30 verse 3 for the young children. We've seen a lot of young children that are walking around with parents that want to seek the Lord. That's a righteous thing. That's a righteous thing. Proverbs Proverbs chapter 23 verse 3 and Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Train up who? Train, train up a child, child in the way he should go. We have to train up our children. We have to train up our children in the way they should go. Righteousness we have to teach our children. Because what? And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And when that child is older, the child's not going to depart from it. He's going to remember the righteousness he's not old. Right. We're going to hold steadfast as the brother said, to train up our children in righteousness. That's We're right. going to call ourselves black boy, black girl, Jamaican, none of these by words. We're the Hebrew Israelites, Hebrew being the language, Israelite being the nation. That's it, let me get Sarah 33. Some people who are in gross darkness, they don't even, they don't even, they don't even guard what we're saying. These people are madmen. But little did they know, little did they know. Sirach chapter 30 verse 3. Sirach chapter 30 and 3. He that teaches his son, grieve it the enemy. He that teaches his son, grieve it the enemy. When we teach our children, we grieve the enemy. We tell them they're no longer a black boy, a black girl. They're Hebrew Israelite. They're God's chosen people. That's right. No matter how much time you walk up and down with your enemy, it's not going to help you. Get up. Don't hand join with don't hand join with hand. The wicked shall not go unpunished with five reasons. Read. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. Read. That's all. Verse four. Now his father died. So though the father died, you trained up the child in righteousness. What? Yet is a soul. He were not dead. So it's as though he's not dead. He's still alive. Because the son going to be in like manner as he was. That's right. And that's what's going to grieve the enemy. That's it. That's it. That's it. For he have left one behind him that is like himself. And he left one behind him that's like himself. A righteous right. man. A man that's called himself an Israelite. Not a black man or a black girl. These are by words. Proverbs. Wise sayings. Let me get the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 and let me get the book of let me get Joshua chapter 24 let me get Sarah chapter 5 verse 7 let me get Sarah chapter 5 verse 7 you're out here to wake our people up Joshua chapter 24 verse 15 and Sarah chapter 5 verse 7 Joshua chapter 24 and verse 15 bring up and if it seemed evil unto you to serve the Lord. So if it seemed evil unto you to serve the Lord. If you think that, you know what? Yeah, I don't believe in the Bible. This is a so-called, this is an Edomite book. What? Choose you this day who you will serve. So choose you who this day who you're going to serve. Don't be hot, don't be cold. No, don't be lukewarm, Salakia. Be hot or be cold. Read. Brother, the first which your father served, that was on the other side of the blood, Whether you're God, which your father says, which are on the other side of blood, read, false gods. Or the gods of the Amorites. Or the gods of the Amorites. And you glad you dwell. And you glad you dwell. But as for me and my house. But as for me and my house, what? 
We will serve the Lord. We will serve who? We will serve the Lord. We will serve who? We will serve the Lord. We're going to serve the Lord. That's right. Our Lord, the only God of this world, of this earth, of this universe. Read. Right. Come on, let me get Sarah chapter 5 verse 7. Sarah chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the so Lord. We can't turn up from day to day to serve the Lord. All prophecies are being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. World War III is about to break loose. All hell is about to break loose. We're living in the last days. Read. And put not off from day to day. And we can't put it off from day to day. Walking on in gross darkness. Thinking everything's going to be alright. Because the government says it's going to be alright. Read. But suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come. Whoa. Sister in the green leggings. You believe in the Bible. You know, you know we live in the last days. You see that? You see that? Read. Read. Hey, brother, brother in the harvest, you believe in the Bible, you know we live in the last days. You know we live in the last days. You're Muslim, brother. That's whole couple of scriptures. And in, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. You see, a lot of our people are in, are in, that, are in that religion, man, are in that religion. Be expired. 
allowed no man to do us no wrong. Read. Right. He, he reproved kings for their sakes. And he reproved corrected kings for their sakes. Right. For their sakes, for our sakes, the Lord corrected them, reproved them. Read. Right. Israel, how many gates are there to heaven? 
They say there's one. There's 12. All praises to the most I know. Let us all couple scriptures to you, but we can stand there. We all put scriptures there. So, um. Go on, go Psalms 96. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. How many songs are here in the radio talking about doing evil to a woman, taking another man's wife? Only for madness, even before we was reading the Bible. When I was young, it never made sense to me. Why would you go and take another man's wife when there's a thing? How much women to one man? How much do they say? About two women to one, or five women. Seven, even more. Seven women to one man. And you want to make a song talking about stealing another man's wife? That's like another man licking his hand, putting a cookie jar, and you go in there and eat it. It don't make no sense, and it's adultery, and that's a punishment right. to death, according to the Bible. Read. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Sing unto the Lord and bless his name. That's right. Read. Sing for his salvation from day to day. That's right. And declare his glory among the heathen. The Lord called the other nations heathens. Right. We're the chosen. Let me get right. Deuteronomy 7 to 6 and let me get straight to the point. You see what the Lord called us, what he thinks of us, and what commands we have to keep. Because today is the Sabbath day. Sunday is the first day of the week, Saturday is the last day of the week. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord said, We are holy people unto the Lord thy God. It's separate, set apart, no integration. The Lord said, Separate. Holy, read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto Lord himself. The Lord chose us to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people. No, no, we're the same as everyone else. Above, above all people. people. No, we might be the same as everyone else. Above, above all people. The Lord people. said we're above all people. Read. That are up on the face of that the earth. on the face of the earth. No matter what we do, we mash it up. Look at the gymnastics of the sister. She's doing moves and they can't judge because it has to be defended yet. She's making it as she goes along. They're like, upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in number than other people, for ye were the fewest 